Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation, around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and travel and adventure. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together, exploring many great things to come. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and your support. Now, let's get down to business. Uh, I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out there and continually think of the next subject matter I'd like to explore with you all. Thank you very much. I also am very excited about you all helping me get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social network. My weekly listening base is growing a great deal week after week, and that's the greatest payoff my listeners can do for me, giving back from my time and efforts into putting into this show together. So let's go ahead and get down into the show. This is the seventh installment in a 10-part series on 10 ways to make your marketing more effective in tough economic times. As I do in every show, I start from the top of the order and work my way down all 10 ways that all these shows have been covering. And today, like I said, we are covering how to promote your blog to the media. So let's start off with number one, find your ideal prospect. Number two, what makes your business different than your competition? Number three, develop a core message that addresses your ideal prospect's needs. Number four is the ADA formula in your sales letters and direct response material. Number five is total internet presence. Number six is referral marketing. Number seven is connect with the media. Number eight, create a sales system. Number nine, schedule your marketing. And number 10, set the stage so that your employees know what is happening and why. All right, so today's show, like I said, we are going to learn to connect with the media. How to promote your blog to the media. Well, most bloggers don't promote themselves to the mass media, and I I can understand why. It's daunting to put yourself out there by pitching to professionals who work in a cutthroat industry where they receive and reject pitches on a daily basis. And yet, having been uh, a newspaper and magazine uh, person myself uh, for quite a long time uh, in my you know younger years, having my own magazine newspaper in college. Uh, and now I can say that I'm a blogger, I know that it's uh, still worth trying. So uh, the small boy or person or girl can uh, definitely put their foot out there and make a big impact. So you see, even though your typical uh, newspaper or publisher receives an avalanche of pitches uh, a day, the reality is that most of these aren't targeted toward the specific publication. When the editor receives an intelligent pitch from someone who understands and knows their publication well, However, they usually pay attention. Furthermore, the mass media churns through a staggering amount of stories and perpetually needs to feed the beast even more 24-7. And the cycle continues on and on. And not only that, nowadays with the internet and print, it's multiple platforms and uh, that need to be contended to and the mobile. Editors need a, a lot of story ideas. They are relying on you to come to them with a really good story about what it is that you have. How great are you? And if you are good at packaging that, uh, you will have a lot of success in getting a lot of free publicity. I want to start off by looking for an angle. You can pitch an idea to the media in one or two ways, either through the press release or where you mention a story idea that you think the publications journalist would be interested in writing about or by writing a story for them yourself as a freelancer. Regardless of which option you choose, you need to be flexible with the story ideas and think about what forms a story can take. Don't just send a press release saying that you have a blog. Instead, think about which angles are genuine of interest to the reader. For example, if you're an accountant who, after a trip to Mexico, has become so passionate about tequila that you created a blog and ebook filled with cocktail recipes and started importing unusual brands of tequila, then that's pretty interesting. 
contact the career sections of your local newspaper to see if they'd be interested in running a profile on you. Many career sections run profiles on people who've had a career change or have had an interesting job. Courting tequila is definitely an interesting job that not just anybody just gets into. You can also pitch a feature like maybe in the travel section as well because the story related from a travel and what you got yourself into. You know, many travel sections will run stories like these about how travel expands the horizons and broadens the perspective of people who do so. In doing so, look at how uh, it has changed these people's lives. So uh, you can definitely pitch uh, it that way or, you know, you can pitch it to the a food sec section since the tequilas are unusual or you can pitch it to a small business magazine, some of which are desperate for profiles on unusual businesses and startups. So remember that each story can be covered in many different ways, and the editors are usually interested in trends, human interest stories, and unknown facts. Something unusual or something that's going to stick out that's different than the rest. So do your research, and if you do, uh, you'll see that uh, it could pay off in a very big way. Now, you want to be careful that you don't spam. You need to choose your publications wisely. Instead of uh, carpet bombing a huge number of them with the same press release or pitch, and I realize that this is tempting, focus on finding publications that would actually be receptive. After being an editor and a business person in a publishing business for so long, I now only pitch carefully to individual publications that I've taken the time to read and understand. I know that it's more effective in the long run. For example, if you can find a local angle, then pitch to your community paper. If there's an emotional angle, then maybe try a tabloid or a magazine that publishes a lot of reader stories. Think about the niche magazines and trade magazines as well as the bigger names. The smaller the publication, the less staff they are, and often the more in need of copy and ideas. You're going to have to labor over your words, and if you do, it's definitely going to be worth it. Because if you're a good enough writer, then a freelance story can be a great way to get your blog mentioned in the media. For example, if you write an opinion piece for a paper, then they'll often write a short bio of who's writing the story underneath. However, 9 out of 10 freelance stories get rejected purely because they're not very well written. And from my experience of being the editor uh, who had to do a lot of rejecting as such, uh, you have to put a lot of effort into the writing and the rewriting of the article until you think it's absolutely perfect. If it, you're not willing to do that or put that kind of effort, then you know be prepared for rejection. The 9 out of 10 stories that do get rejected are usually written by people who probably said to themselves, I'm a decent writer and this is good enough. For more writing tips, you can check out this writing article which I wrote. And, and that's just not going to cut it. So uh, you definitely need to labor over the choice of your words. And not only that, it also helps uh, in considering if you know your keywords, uh, what keywords uh, you want to use in writing that content. So the next place that I want to cover is that you definitely want to cut to the chase too when you create your story. If you do send a, a press release, then cut the preamble and say something why your blog or project or campaign or idea is of interest. Editors are so time poor and deal with so many pitches that it drives them nuts to have to read through four paragraphs of small talk and fluff before coming to the heart of the matter. You should always leave your full contact details on every release. Don't expect that if you do uh, get some action that you'll get a link back either. Uh, that's not always the case. Keep in mind that the mainstream media don't understand the idea of linking back to you. They just don't, and at least for the most part. They may print your website address in print and online, but they most often won't activate the link. While this isn't great for an SEO point of view, you shouldn't let it put you off too much. After all, you'll still get great promotion to a different audience you wouldn't normally reach. Hopefully more newspapers and magazines will eventually learn from us bloggers that active links are an important part of how the web works. What are your stories is my question to you. If I had to pick out the most important tip from this broadcast or post, 
is it that you need to find an angle. You, you need to find your angle, and you might need to have several of them. It's kind of like having a couple tricks in your bag, be it a trend, a human uh, interest story, be it something unusual or an unknown fact. You need to sell the idea to the media. And as such, I'd be interested to know whether you're going to pitch a story and what your angle will be. And if you're already pitching a story, tell us how you did. Um, we'd love to hear any of your experiences or tips uh, in comments. So, you know, like I've told you in past shows, you can go to my website and I have widget that will actually allow you to leave voicemail. So leave me voicemail of your story and I'll have it on a, a future show and uh, we'll analyze your story. And uh, you'll have an opportunity to get some free critiquing or a free analyst or be a part of the show and teaching people you know about writing PR releases and getting traction on them and thinking of their angle I once again appreciate you for tuning in this week uh, if you like my show please consider subscribing to it which you can do by visiting my website chaddecker.com or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher smart radio listener take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device if you like my show and find it resourceful please do your social network a favor and share like post leave a comment and subscribe to my show I greatly appreciate your efforts and support and you are part of what makes this show a success well that's about it for this show Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.